What's going on, Scripture Surfers? Good morning. This is your host, Zach, coming to you from Treasure Island, Florida. We're out here for Fourth of July weekend. It's a beautiful weekend. Let me show you a little bit of the VRBO place that we've got. It's like a two-bedroom little condo. Cool little place. And Cole's getting ready for us to go fishing. The kids are eating probably the world's most healthy food ever. Powder donuts. What's going on, guys? Say hello, scripture surfers. Hello. Close enough. All right. So, anyways, this is our place. It's uh, 7 a.m. That's the nice thing about being out here. We're so close to going out. I don't have to get up at four in the morning. I can go out in flat water and fly to get where I need to go. So we're staying right on the beach. Man, Treasure Island's a beautiful spot. Let me show you guys what the beach looks like. Oh, look at the Gulf. As you can see, potentially, it is flat. I mean, here's a boat right here coming by. He's probably doing about 35 to 45. And on that water, my boat will go 50 with uh, twin 300 Yamahas. So I'm looking forward to get out in the fishing grounds fast. We're going to go out to a couple spots I found online. So how I found them, oh, we got a little humidity there, was I just Googled some spots. And uh, 38 miles out, there's several shipwrecks. So we're going to go there. We're going to try for some grouper and a red snapper because red snapper's in season over here on the Gulf Coast, whereas in the Atlantic, I only get two days out of the year coming up here this month in July. So uh, it's a little bit safer when you can fish a longer time. So we'll see. We'll go out today and bring the kids beanbag chair, just have some fun. We're gonna do some diving. I might do some spear fishing as well. Uh, just inshore on the reefs a little bit in like 40 feet of water. So we'll see. Catch you guys out there in a bit. something big oh I'll keep her king man there we go it's a goliath, it's a goliath. Oh! that is the biggest golden tile I've ever seen it's a sea monster oh my gosh that is a big fish God's providing which he does well all right we're heading out to the truck Getting ready to go out and do some fishing. You wanna know how I know we're gonna have a great day today? from all the good luck, even though I don't believe in luck. Because we got pooped on all night long by what looks like to be a pterodactyl. So I heard that bird poop is good luck. So I think we're gonna have some good luck tonight. We'll see. So we just uh, are about 
I don't know, 16 miles offshore right now. I'm putting out a little chub or double hook. We just see some fish on the top of the water over there that are um, just uh, attacking some bait. So I'm gonna send this out. So when you see that, just get a lure out quick. And we're gonna troll right through it. All right, so I'm sure you guys know when you see birds diving, that's a sign that bait fish are coming up to the surface, chased up by bigger fish, and that's what you wanna to try to go after. So where we just trolled through those other fish that were hitting, there weren't any birds, but nothing was biting the lures when we went through them. I'm gonna show you now, we've got about uh, three to four birds diving right here on the top of the water, surface level, and you're seeing the fish jump out of the water. So the thing that you wanna look for is you don't wanna be looking for birds that are way high up in the sky. You want them right on the water like this, diving over and over onto the surface. They're chasing uh, bait fish that again, bigger fish are coming up after. So we're gonna troll right over them and see if uh, God would supply us with a cool catch. All right, we'll see if we get something. All right, we're gonna try trolling right over top of it. We're now over it so I can video for you guys to see what we're looking at. Six knots, birds flew away. I'm not seeing any fish below or any color. Yep. There's a lot of bait on the top of the water right now. Yep, fish jumping everywhere. We're gonna catch something, dang it. I don't care if I have to jump in the water and freehand it, I'm gonna catch something. There you go. Look at that splashing. Oh, right by the boat, they're like 15 feet, but I just can't tell what they are. All right, scripture surfers. We're out at the wreck. I've got my custom rod here and there we go vermilion snapper look at that guy there you go it's dinner all right catch some more all right guys so i'm going to show you what i'm doing out here so if you look i've just got mono to braid so it's a liter uh fluorocarbon actually and this is probably about a 40 to 50 pound test and then what i've done is taken a ballyhoo and i broke his beak off so I broke his beak off and then you just deep poop him. So you just run your finger down, get rid of all that gunk and the scales below. Once that's there, break his back, give him a little action underwater, wash him off. Okay. Now this is probably a two odd circle hook. You just take it and go right underneath of his beak. And it's a very hard part of his head right here at the top of the skull. So you go right under. Now, there's not a lot of weight on this and there's no current today, so I gotta pull it to free line it out. What kind of fish is that? Just make sure you don't tangle up. Keep it out of the prop. Let it dive down. All right, once I get to the braid, which is my marker, this is the clip I told you guys about in another one. I've zip tied on a bank sinker to what's called the Kingfish balloon clip. And if I squeeze it, it opens up on the track and what it does is sit right on the line. And the reason I put it right where the braid is, is the, the knot, the mono will keep it from sliding down now. So now what I'm gonna have is my weight with a long leader and the ballyhoo just sitting there. Now you gotta let it down slowly because if you don't, the ballyhoo's gonna spin. Oh, we got a sea turtle right out there about 50 feet out. Big brown sea turtle. Ooh, yeah. Let's get that cobia rod. Yep, Nicole's right. When you see something like that, throw a cobia rod, but I didn't bring mine. Oh. So now I'm letting down the line, <laughs> letting it down. Let it down slowly with my thumb on. Now, if you look at this rod, guys, what's great about it is the handle right here has got grips on it and it's acid wrapped, meaning the, uh, bear, the lines around it wrap around. So the guides. So what happens is it pulls the full brunt like a spinner on the point. It makes it easy for me to pull it up. So I got it off the bottom. 
I'm just going to let it sit there and do its job, put on a clicker just in case. And if it gets hit by something big, we'll know. I think I got a grouper. That's where an acid wrap helps. What it's on here is a naked valley hoop. You either got a big grouper or a mud or something. But he's fighting, I just gotta get him up before the sharks get him. Oh. All right. See him dig? Look at the rod tip bend, hun. That's the acid wrap benefit. Just lets it pull the whole weight of the rod against us now. We grab this clip tangled up. No. The fish is still on. I just had to get the weight off. Yeah. Oh, You'll see, Luke. Huh? You'll see, buddy. Keep watching. <laughs> you go there with that. Come on, come on. Uh, no one calls her light, so quick. Don't color. It's an amberjack. Aww. It's an amberjack. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Big fish. All right, guys. What do you think, Luke? I have a big fish. Do you see a big fish? Uh, Kaylin, what kind of fish is that? An amberjack. That's right. Look at that tooth of yours hanging there. You're an amberjack. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what it's all about. The king of fishes. Here we go. We're pushing it, guys. I'm going to start calling you Save the king the fish because you catch so many. Here we go, king of fish. <laughs> Whoa, look, you guys. Million. Watch out. <laughs> the circle hooks are missing these vermilion and keep getting them in the gut. Take a look at that, right in the gut, every time. Ah. Gets him right in his choker. Good stuff. Hey, that's dinner, man. We caught a lot of vermilion. Instead of going out and paying, spending a bunch of money on dinner at restaurants, catch your own. That's what life's all about, adventure. Right, guys? You like the adventure? Whoa, 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 wait, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, scared of the fish? I scared of it. There it is, another vermilion. Ooh, they're everywhere. Yep. Mama got some vermilion. Look, Luke, vermilion. Here we go. All right, caught a lane snapper. It's got to be eight inches. At eight inches, she is. Little snapper sandwich. There you go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Even with gloves, they're slimy. All right, into the cold water. Here you go. See ya. He's like, that's Get a shot. Fish. <laughs> we got another fish, Luke. You gonna eat some fish sandwiches? No. How about some fish sticks? No. No fish sticks? No. Come yeah. on, you guys are a fishing family. Gotta eat some fish.
grow. Hey, little girl. Get out of that computer game thing, I'm a bob. <laughs>